Hello everybody, Torx here. This is going to be a video on installing case fans into your desktop computer. Um, I'm replacing these two side panel fans I have right here for kind of a dumb reason, some of you might think. <laughs> what It is kind of a dumb reason, but at the same time, I just kind of want to do it. I'll tell you about that later. I just thought I'd take the time to make a video on it. So, without further ado, um, I'm going to give you all the ins and outs of installing case fans. There is a certain direction you have to face your fan for airflow. One direction will be blowing out, one direction will be sucking in. And basically, generally speaking, airflow, the front of your computer should be bringing in air, bottom of your computer should be bringing in air, side panel, the front side panel should be bringing in air as well. So basically from here, here, and from here, these are three directions where the air will be coming in. And then the roof will be exhausting, the rear will be exhausting, and then if you happen to have, it's kind of rare, but some computers have a back side panel, it's a side panel on the back of the computer, that should also be exhausting, pulling air out of the, the processor. Some have it under the heat sink. It's a little bit rare, but some have it. So anyway, so yeah, those are the three basic directions where the air comes in. The power supply, usually, if it's a bottom mounted one, it has its own independent cooling. It sucks in air from the bottom and then exhausts it out of the back. Again, the cool air is on the bottom. If you know heat rises, that, that applies to a computer case as well. Heat's always rising. So the lower you put stuff, that's generally where it's cooler. See the graphics card right here is sucking in air as well. You want to feed it cool air and then since there's a double slotted one, it exhausts air out the back. Just saying all the cool air is coming up, you want to bring cool air up. The processor, the heatsink wants to suck it up. Everything wants to suck up the cool air and then you want to get rid of that air. You want balance. If you have one fan in the back, you should have one fan in the front. You have two fans in the front, you should have two fans in the back. It's pretty simple. Basically the more fans the better. So that's pretty much it for um, you know where to put your fans. And now how do you know if a fan is exhausting or intaking? Well, I'm gonna show you. So here's a fan, this one happens to be an NZXT. Um, basically the reason why I'm replacing the fans is because I want fans with black rims on them. I think they look cool. I like LED fans, um, but for this case specifically, I like the black rims. These fans up here are the same ones. They're orange, same exact brand, but they just happen to be uh, orange. Yeah, but these are, they just have the black rims. I just think they look cool because they look like they're built into the system. These are the 100% clear ones. They glow more. They provide you more light. If that's what you want, go for that. Um, however, I just, I don't know. They look just kind of like fans that were slapped into the case rather than fans that were built into it. It's such a stupid thing, but just, just thought I'd do it. It's been bugging me for a while. So anyway, right here, when you're facing the fan just like this, the easiest way to remember what is the sucking part and what is the blowing part, like what part is intaking the air and what part is exhausting it. Well, some fans will have arrows on it. If you look very closely, you can see two little, come on, focus, focus camera. You can see the arrows facing that way and then that way, those two arrows, that way, the down, that represents, that's where it's rotating, okay? That's where it's rotating, and then that way it represents where the air is going. Now, a lot of the time you may not be able to find the arrow on your fan. Well, the easiest way to remember is, if you see the wire right there, all the fans will have this, this little guard, and they'll have the wire right there. Yes, that is where it is exhausting, so it is blowing towards you if you're looking at it this way. If you look at it this way, there is no wire, and you can get your fingers inside the blades there easily. That's where it is intaking air, so it's intaking that way. And then if you can find the arrow, that makes it even better. So, let's say I wanted to put this on the bottom, I would face it like this, because this is where the exhaust is. I want it to go up this way and have it intake through that. If I had it on the front, I want it like this, because I want it to exhaust into the computer, intake the air put in the computer. If I wanted it on the rear, you face it the same direction, just like that, because you're sucking in the air and exhausting it out the back. Roof, I want to face like that. Side panel, I want it, uh, sorry, face like that, because I'm pushing it into the computer. So that's pretty much it. You're just going to have it face like this or this, no matter where it is. Okay? So that's basically the ins and outs of it. Now I'm going to show you how to screw it in. All right, so here's the side panel window. And again, it doesn't really matter where you're screwing in. The fan this just so happens to be where it is. You have to know what size the fan is, obviously. Um, these take 120 millimeter fans. Just look up your uh, case's specs if you don't know, but 120 millimeters are very, very common for mid towers and full towers. Sometimes you'll see 140 millimeter in some cases. A lot of times there's also 80 and 92. So 80, 92, 120, 140 seem to be the most common. There's all different kinds of sizes for different things, but uh, you can see it matches up right there. So it goes on the inside. And sometimes these can be a little bit tricky because you have to kind of keep it still, but you want to screw it in through this way and put the screws, drop them in like this and screw it in. So basically you just kind of need something to hold it still. Basically you just have to set it down on the ground. It just depends where the location of the fan being screwed in is. 
And so my Molex connector, that's where I'm going to connect this to from the power supply. I have a video talking about power supplies, all the ins and outs of those um, is on the bottom of the case. So I'm going to have this in the side panel window and the Molex connector is going to be right here. So I'm going to rotate the fan this way because that's where the wire will be. So that's just going to be the easiest. This is a three pin. A lot of key, a lot of fans will come with a three pin to Molex adapter. These plug into your motherboard. Some motherboards only have like one system fan slot for these things. So uh, but uh, you can connect these, it's almost like Christmas lights, you can connect fan to fan to fan up to I think 7 or 8 fans that are 120 millimeter. So all you do is just connect them together like that. If you have an adapter, this one happened to come with one. And there you go, it's ready to go, it's ready to plug into the Molex. Alright, so I have it lined up, let's get a better angle in here. The holes are perfectly lined up there, and here's one of the screws, they take these giant threaded screws I call them. That's what they take. So, my screwdriver here, I'm going to screw in one of them. I'm just going to, putting a little bit of pressure on it, so just so it doesn't like shake all over the place. You don't need to tighten it down all the way initially. Just tighten it down a little bit, just so you can keep it fairly into place. And then I like to screw in the diagonal hole, so I'll be right down here. Oh, and it already moved it a little bit. Just apply a little bit of force to it, it's alright. Once you get the two diagonal screws in, from there it gets pretty easy. Alright, they're all screwed into place, the fan's ready to go. I'm just going to tighten them down as much as I can. I mean, don't over tighten them so you don't strip it or anything like that, but uh, basically you'll know when to stop right there. So that's one fan installed so far, I'm going to install the other one, and you can see it is blowing into the case. Alright, so I got both the fans in, installed, and then I have both the connectors down here and they're plugged into Molex adapters right there. And I have the Molex cable right down there. Right there. This. That's the Molex connector. I have it just fed through the cable management. So all I'm gonna do is plug this into that. It's very simple, all you do is line it up. And sometimes you need a little bit of force. Yeah, I know my hands are in the way, but it, it's simple. We just line them up, there's just the four pins. You go to the four slots right there. And then that's it. And now because this is a Molex adapter, there is, if you can see this right here, there's a, uh, this looks like it's from the power supply, the Molex connector itself. But this is actually from the adapter from the fan. So we fit it into there, and again, we can connect up to, I think, eight fans it is, or seven fans, something like that, for 120 millimeter. So I can just simply connect this fan, the other one I have, into that. So this one Molex connector from the power supply is feeding both of these fans. There you go, it's in. So it's pretty much ready to go at this point. If I just turn on the computer, these will work. Um, but I'm just gonna kinda clean this up a little bit, find a place for these wires, I suppose, and. Uh, Eh, whatever, I'm just going to close it. So all I do is close it, that's it, they're ready to go. Alright, see if it works. Ta-da! There they are. So that's it. That's the install case fans into a computer.